oh my goodness you guys holy cow I had so much trouble tonight so I'm glad to be here happy August 28th it is a rainy overcast night in Menasha Wisconsin Sharon Milburn you are the first one in here welcome I am sorry for the delay gosh eight minutes that was crazy so I didn't have a hot flash such y'all to know <laughs> but I will tell you what sometimes I'll, this technology will make you rip your hair out and so recently Facebook changed things so that now I because I have a business page and I have a personal profile I have to toggle between them to be able to do certain things <laughs> And it wouldn't let me get into my business account as the business person to start the live video. Like it was no place. So I'm here now. I'm so glad. Good grief. It was horrible. I am going to wait for some of you guys to get in here. I am going to pull myself up on my iPad. And maybe that's why, because I was in here and who knows what happens. But it's been working right along. They've changed this. No hot flash. Debbie says so she's so proud of me. Thank you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but um, it, I, I just, I don't understand why this happens to me. <laughs> well, it happens to other people too. I know. But it's been working fine all along. And then all of a sudden tonight, I have no option to go live and it's because it won't get me out of my personal profile into my business page as the person who is authorized to go live on my business page you know what I mean so anyways I need to just calm this down right a hot mess <laughs> yeah my hair is kind of uh it's it looks like I've been in an airport riding on airplanes all day and I have <laughs> I did have a good travel day today. We did not have to get up at the butt crack of dawn to race to the airport. Um, my flight didn't go out till 1120 out of New Orleans and um, I flew from there to Detroit and had just a tiny layover in Detroit before I flew right into Appleton. Steve was right there to pick me up. Everything was um, flawless. My luggage came with me. It was a great day. Of travel so and uh, Dina got home okay today she usually she hates to go through Chicago because she always gets stuck there but she got home all right and Barb is in Denver she'll be getting in late tonight but we all got out of New Orleans and we're on our way home and did we have fun of course we had fun like who are you talking to <laughs> we had a great time Stampin' Up put on a fantastic leadership event it was called backstage and it was for, I want to say gold or silver elite and above. That's it. We have titles. So when you first start with Stampin' Up, you start as a bronze and then you promote to a bronze elite. I just saw something about unicorn pooped on your phone. <laughs> um, you, you promote to bronze elite and then you promote to silver and then silver elite, gold, gold elite, platinum and platinum elite is the very top. So we had a wonderful time. Silver Elite and above were um, able to register for this event. This is the first event that Stampin' Up! has had with that was all inclusive that people could come to in about three years. So it was super exciting. It was so good to see all those people I haven't seen in so long that I consider my good friends because um, we vacation together on the incentive trips. We do all the things. and. So it was just really nice to be able to see those people and to be able to hug those people and know that they're good and they're doing well. And um, we share business tips. We had a lot of training while we were there. We had some very inspirational speakers. Brenda Sturr is one of our favorite speakers. Um, we've had her before at events and she did just a fantastic job. We had some other people that, you know, I don't know their name. I can't remember their names. That's how I roll. <laughs> You know how this is this is how Kelly operates right but um it was a fantastic event I was able to I was invited to a special breakfast for platinum and platinum elite titles and there were I think 20 I was with 27 other um, leaders at that type at those titles platinum <laughs> Vicki says platinum and um, I got to have breakfast and 
Register did a presentation just for us. So there were 27 other demonstrators. And so it's really very humbling and amazing to be with other top leaders and to be recognized for that hard work we put into getting those titles. So it was so fun, you guys. The last night we were there, and we had several different things, like we had a sweets and swap where um, people could come and swap cards and we had desserts that we could eat and they were really good. That was fun, it's just kind of a gathering to get together. And then we had our last final night, they always do something special for us. They told us to meet in a ballroom area at 6.15, don't be late. And so we all got there and they handed out feather boas. Oh, let me get my, let me get my fun stuff. I'll show you. I don't have the feather boa. I gave that to a little child on the street. Um, Dina started doing that, so I kind of followed suit. She was giving all her little goodies to kids that were along the street. So let me get back to this. So I got this cute little parasol. Is that is that what they're called? Yeah, umbrella thingy. And um, it's the perfect size for Val, so I can't hardly wait to give this to her because I know she's going to love it. And this... How fun is this, you guys? Yeah, this was fun. And a feather boa. Um, oh, and lots and lots of beads. We got lots of beads. And so people were seeing us with our beads asking what we did for those beads. We just showed up. <laughs> there were no boobies. <laughs> we're a little more classy than that. <laughs> so here's all our beads. So we got the beads. And then this was our name tags, and these were really cool because they're on the, you know, the um, Mardi Gras beads. And we had different layers for different things that we were able to attend. Like, I think this one was the breakfast for the Platinum Platinum Elites, and then this one was, I don't know, I don't know. You know I can't remember anything. So then we had this. So we were looking pretty fancy. And then you put this on, and then you bring this out, and have the boa, and you're ready to do what? To create a parade. And that's exactly what we did. We marched out of the Marriott, and when we came outside, we had a band from a high school, and they played. Um, it was just fun, fun music. And we had the people in all the flashy costumes that were with us and they blocked the streets in downtown New Orleans in like a full huge block. And we, our, us demonstrators, all did the parade thing. It was the coolest thing ever. There were police that had the traffic stopped the whole time. It was just so crazy. Like, I've never been a part of something that was so like, whoa, this is so cool. So I'm really glad that I did it. It was really, really fun. And of course, I don't know what I was thinking, Stampin' Up! always does everything in just the most fabulous style. Like, they pull it off every time. So it was really cool. I'm glad I got to be a part of it. So this is some of the stuff that I got. These were the bags that they handed out. And these are like swap bags, so all your cards fit in here. But what they did is they filled these with um, our... We had a, a little notebook with a leather pouch that has a pen. My pen is in my other bag. Our agenda, so this tells us, you know, all the things that are going to be happening, and then we can take notes in here and remember who the presenters are. Um, this cute little bag, which I think I'm going to give this to Molly for her um, travel bag for, like, her toothbrush and toothpaste and deodorant and stuff like that. She needs a bigger little bag. And let's see. We got this cup, backstage cup, so that was fun. And then we got a little fan because yes, it was hot there. It's August in New Orleans, right? So it was hot and we got this cute little Stampin' Up! fan. So <laughs> it was fun, right? They're fun. Um, oh, and a pin, backstage pin. So, and I have to do a little shout out. I got some swap cards. Um, this one is from Beth Robinson. I did not make and take any swap cards. Remember we talked about this before I left that I just couldn't make that happen. But some people are so super nice and she gave Dina Barb and I each a swap card. 
well, three swap cards, each of us, three swap cards. So how fun is that, right? That's just so sweet. So I came home with some cards. I'm going to put those over there so I don't lose track of them because they're really pretty. And she did some neat stuff on them that I kind of want to share with you at some point. But this was, this is, so now we have this bag and it's got leather handles and it's made of like a really thick felt that is great for taking to other events to put your cards into swap. It'll make it super easy. So that was fun. Um, we didn't do a lot in New Orleans. Um, we went out one day and ate a late lunch and that was fun. And other than that, we stayed in the hotel and we slept a lot <laughs> and we watched Netflix. We watched Schitt's Creek and that was really fun because we loved that show and we were laughing our butts off. And um, we watched another movie, a Kevin Hart movie. It's a new one that was pretty super funny. And um, I can't even remember what it was about, but it was really funny. I'll think of it. You guys know I'm so terrible. But anyways, it was really nice to see all of our friends and we had a blast and travel was good. Um, it rained every day that we were there and we knew it was going to do that. They had a really nice pool. We never went to the pool because it was just kind of crummy weather the whole, the whole time. Um, but we brought our umbrellas, so nobody cares, right? <laughs> we did. We had a lot of fun. So I'm glad to be home. I'll be sleeping in my own bed tonight. Steve told me when he picked me up at the airport that he knows how much I love the freshly washed sheets. So he um, took all the sheets off the bed and washed them, which was really sweet. But now they're not put back on the bed. They're still in the dryer. And if you're going to do something nice for me, you don't get to do it halfway so that then I have to do all the work of putting it back on the bed. Am I being a brat? <laughs> I'm like waiting for him to get up here and finish that bud. <laughs> I know, I'm so mean. Oh, anyways. Um, what did the little bag say? Oh, let me see because I don't even know. Hang on. It says New Orleans is always a good idea. Isn't that cute? I know it's backwards, you guys, because I don't want to mess with anything. We've had enough problems tonight already. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, New Orleans is always a good idea. Isn't that cute? So yeah. Anyways, we had a blast. It was fun. I got home, hit the ground running. Um, I had some cards made. Remember when I left, I told you that I had cards made up, but I still had to cut all the layers and put all the stamps um, on blocks and get all the things so that I could seamlessly make cards with you tonight. So. I'm glad that I got that done. I have one project sheet typed up. We're going to be making two cards. I'm actually just going to show you four because I've got different color pattern paper variants. And um, I've got one of the project sheets typed up. So don't forget that when this video is done, I download it to my computer, I upload it to YouTube, and YouTube is taking a long time doing all the checks to make sure that I haven't put any crazy terrorist stuff in there. I shouldn't even say that word. That's probably why it takes so long because I keep going, <sighs> saying the words. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, Debbie. Debbie says, but Steve is sweet. He is sweet. He is. I think he missed me. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I have one of the project sheets done. Now when we get done and I get that video uploaded to YouTube and they approve it, then my blog post goes out. So it is live for everybody. And um, you'll definitely want to check out the blog post because that's where I have the free downloads. And that means that there's a document, a project sheet that has pictures of what we're gonna make tonight for each, for each card. It has a picture of what we're gonna make. It has all the ingredients, like all the colors and the tools that I use. You're like, what did she call those dyes? It's gonna be in there. What was that color? It's going to be listed right there in that project sheet, as well as some instructions and all the dimensions, which is so nice, right? Now you can take that and you can print it out, or you can save it to your computer device, whatever you're using. Maybe you have a file that's project sheets and you can save it in there so that you can access it anytime you need it. So it's pretty sweet. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, John report. I got nothing. Like I have so nothing. You won't even believe how much nothing I have. I did before I left for New Orleans. We left, um, I don't even know, last Tuesday. 
I did see John hop on his moped and head out the driveway, but I have no idea where he was going. <laughs> I don't know. Steve told me that he wants to go up to South Park at the end of the week. Um, he needs to get the lawn mowed and do some things, and we still don't have a well. So we were supposed to have a well a couple weeks ago, but the well people, I told you the whole story, they're just so understaffed that um, we still don't have a well, so that's kind of a bummer, but whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hi, Kathy Showalter. I see a whole bunch of more, a whole bunch of more. There's good English. I see a whole bunch of other people coming on now. <laughs> um, so, what else do I need to share with you? We are winding down celebration, you guys. It ends on Wednesday. Is that right? Yeah, Wednesday is the 31st of August. How does that even happen? Like, I'm not ready for summer to be over. We have beautiful weather coming this week in Menasha. It's going to be high 70s, low 80s. Um, Steve said nobody's been in the pool all last week, which is really sad. So this week I'm definitely going to make some time to be outside enjoying that before September rolls around because that's when we close it, right? Such a sad day. It's almost like... We mourn the closing of the pool. <laughs> Lisa's saying, join Kelly's team. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Like, we have a lot of fun. You guys think you have fun on here with me? There's a whole other world for you if you join my team. Whether you want to be a discount shopper or um, build a business, whatever you want to do, you can do. And I'll never push you to do any more than you want to do. You can be a discount shopper for 20 years. I have people that have been on my team forever that are discount shoppers. So um, during celebration is the best time to join. You get a planner that is super, super pretty. And planners are all the rage right now. Here's the planner. You get that for free when you join by the 31st of August. You also get to choose $125 in product. Anything you want, as long as it's purchasable. So, you can't buy hostess things, right? You have to earn those. And you can't buy celebration items because you have to earn those with $50 orders. But once you buy your kit, then you can put in an order and get a minimum 20% discount on everything you order. And we get to order early. And when promotions come out, we get to order early from those. And so, I wanted to tell you, we have a promotion coming. This is starting on September 1st, and I'm going to wait until I turn my camera around to show you this so it's not backwards, okay? But these are the types of things that discount shoppers or business builders, doesn't matter. You get to um, order the stuff a month ahead of everybody else. And I see, oh, Suzanne, you're so sweet, and Debbie. Suzanne says it's so worth it to be part of Kelly's team. It really is. It's the best gift that you can really give yourself, that and a membership to Stamp Happy Academy. So just saying it's pretty fun too but when you join my team you actually get one of those after you've placed your first discount order so you get a free membership I know okay um, I'm going to flip my camera around I think we're ready to rock here and I'm going to show you this flyer that I have for the perfect partners promotion coming up Woo -woo. I'm excited about this I just got um, if you see right there there's two of my stamp sets with the dies that go with them from this promotion. So I'll be having a lot of fun with that in the next week or so. Yay. Wendy Morse, you are so sweet. She says, it's I've been blessed to be on her team. I've been blessed to have you, all of you. I truly feel that way. Okay, hang tight. We're going to flip this beast around, hope for no problems. Gosh, that was so frustrating. I can't even tell you when things don't go right. I actually shut my phone down and started it up again. I don't know if that actually helped or not, but I did get on here eventually. I don't really think that had anything to do with it. Um, let me unplug. I'm going to unplug one of these cords and get it out of the way. And I've got to turn on a couple more lights. So just hang with me here. I was in such a dither. Do you guys use that word, dither? I was in such a dither over this. Ugh. It's a love-hate relationship with technology, isn't it? Okay, I just want to make sure. What happened here? Oh, my goodness. That's so funny that my iPad just, like, shut down. I had it on, you guys, and now it's not. I don't know why I did that. Well, the video's still playing here. Okay, well, I guess we're okay. 
Who knows? Technology is kicking my butt tonight. Okay, so here's what we have. This is my blog address, www.astampabub.com. You just go to a Google and you type that in. You're going to find my blog. This is my current host code. This is going to be changing this week. But you can always find it on my blog. So you go to my blog at the bottom of every post. It'll say host code and give you these numbers or in the right-hand column. When your order is under $150, you will um, click. <laughs> I can't even think. You will not. You'll use this code when it's under $150. When your order is over $150, you don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. Um, I have, I forgot to give prizes away, so I'm going to do that. And I also have some really fun mail to share with you guys. So before we do anything, we're going to give some prizes away. I have these beautiful Expressions in Ink Ephemera Kit. These have some embellishments in there and some really pretty die cut elements. This is for commenting on the Facebook Live last week. So if you are on here, make sure you leave a comment. You can just say hi. You can say whatever you want. But if you leave a comment, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And this is for commenting last week. I have these going out to Lisa Krogan. C-R-O-G-A-N of Watertown, Wisconsin. Lisa, can you please give me your address? I do not have it. And somebody says, Linda, you're saying voice is having a problem. Is that me? Can you guys hear me? I hope you can hear me. I need to know. So somebody let me know. I'm just going to keep going, but somebody tell me if you can hear me okay. Good Lord, we don't need any more problems, right? So congratulations to Lisa Krogan of Watertown, Wisconsin. Please make sure that you email me your address. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabub.com. Okay, next up, we have for sharing... Oh, you guys can hear me, so thank you. I see everybody saying, congratulations, Lisa! We have for sharing this video, now that's the other way that you can win fabulous prizes, is by clicking on that share button that's on your screen right now. So hi Connie, thank you so much for telling me you can hear me fine. Debbie says loud and clear. I know I'm always loud. Um, I have adorning designs, decorative masks, and a blending brush. And this is for sharing the video last week. This is going out to Millie, Millie Clement. So Millie, no, I'm sorry, wrong, scratch that. Millie donated these decorative masks. So Millie, thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, where did my name go? Oh, for sharing last time, Marsha Cullibert. You are going to be getting these Adorning Designs decorative masks and a new blending brush. I'm excited to send that to you. Marsha is from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. So Marsha? These are going to be on their way, and congratulations. And they were from, these are from Millie. She sent them to me because I think she ordered them twice. So um, thank you so much, Millie. That was so thoughtful of you, and Marcia is going to thoroughly enjoy these. Next up, we have a gift that I'm going to be giving that is from Sandra Moren. Sandra had a double order and she had she sent me the mini curvy keepsakes box die and these are super super fun this makes a cute little curvy box so Sandra donated this I'm also going to throw in a pack of the sunshine and rainbows designer series paper I thought that would be really cute with these little curvy boxes this is going out to Julie Schulke of Fremont Wisconsin so we had a lot of Wisconsin today um, yeah, lots of Wisconsin. So congratulations to all of you. This was for placing an order. So Julie Shuki placed an order. When you place an order with me, you also get entered into the drawing for a prize. And I'm going to put this back on here so I don't get confused about what goes to whom and where. Let me do this and this. And that was from Sandra. And now I think I have it together. Okay. Now, perfect partners. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. Let me grab the ones that I got. Just tell you a little bit about these. So, 
trimming the tree. This is going, this is from September 1st through the 30th. We have some stamp sets in our annual catalog and our mini catalog. Here's the tree trimming dies. Um, these dies, these sets are available, right? They're in the, the catalogs, but the dies are only going to be available for the month of September. And so I picked out a few. I'll tell you which ones I got. So I got the tree one because I thought, oh, I need to start making Christmas and this will be a lot of fun. And I really liked all of these dies. Look at all of these dies to decorate these Christmas trees. So trimming the tree with the, tr um, with the tree trimming dies. The dies are only available till the end of September. This is in the annual catalog. So you can get this until, you know, next year. So that's one set. Then ah, I also got the apple blossom dies. So this is the apple harvest. And I think this is in the mini catalog. I'm sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And then I got the dies. Look at all those dies, you guys. There are 25 different dies in there. And these dies are $35 or you can get the whole bundle and save 10% for $53, okay? So that's what these are. And these are only gonna be available for the month of September. These will be available until the end of the mini catalog, which is January 3rd or something like that. So isn't this pretty? I can't wait to make some beautiful cards with this. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Then we also have the fresh cut stem dies that go with the fresh cut flowers. These are really, really pretty. This is in the annual catalog. And who loves the playful piggies? The, the, this birthday piggy bundle. So we have the birthday piggies, and then we have a set of dies, 18 different dies to go with those. How fun is that? I got those, because <laughs> I, I couldn't resist. And then we have the waterfall dies. Look at that, there are 31 different dies in here. So this stamp set, I'm pretty sure, I wanna say that that is in the annual catalog, but the dies will only be available in September. And then the Yeti to party, I had the stamp set, so I had to buy the dies. But if you already have the stamp set, you can get just the dies or you can get the whole bundle or either or whatever you want to do. I don't know why you would want the dies with if you didn't have the stamp set, but whatever. Everybody has their own thing, right? So these are going to take place. This promotion starts on September 1st. Um, I'm pretty sure it's as while supplies last, which is pretty much a lot of our products, especially with a promotion. So... Um, Make sure that you get these on your order early. So I, I hate it when people are disappointed because they forgot or whatever, and then something goes, it's like out of stock, right? <laughs> Gay says, yes, I know, right? This is so fun. So don't forget, celebration ends on Wednesday. For every $50 that you spend, you get to choose a $50 item. If you order $100, you get to choose $100 items. I believe the brush metallic cardstock is gone now. I don't know if anything else is. I haven't been, um, I was gone, you know, I was on a business trip, so I wasn't really paying very close attention. But all of these items in here, free with a 50 or $100 item. So make sure you take advantage of that. It is the best time to stock up on your supplies. Order some extra glue, order some extra um, tape runner, order some extra cardstock. How about some extra envelopes? Or maybe you need some new embellishments or more embellishments. It's the best time to do that because free stuff, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And if you join my team, you can order these before September 1st and you can get celebration benefits. So if you have one or two of these that you would like to order, you can join my team, put it on your, um, oh yeah, well that's, uh, hang on. Forget about what I said about celebration because you can't add celebration to a starter kit, but you can join my team. You can order this stuff on the starter kit, okay? And you can get it early. That's how it works. If anybody has any questions about that, <laughs> Kathleen loves the Aspen dies. I know, I do too. I was really excited about those because I do have that stamp set. 
Um, if you have any questions about any of those, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to help you guys. And I think, hang on, let me take off my read the messages glasses, put on my other glasses. <laughs> I can still read your messages on my iPad, so don't worry about that. Here comes Splendid Day Designer Series Paper, you guys. We're going to be using this for both of our cards today. Now, if you don't have this, I highly recommend it. It is beautiful. The whole suite is absolutely gorgeous. But if you, if you, if you don't have it and it's not on your radar, hang on, I'm looking for my catalog. Here it is. It's not on your radar. Don't panic because the cards I'm showing you tonight, you can do with what you have too. Okay. I just want you to know that they're not exclusive to this suite, but look at this suite. Oh, it's so pretty. This is the splendid day suite. And look at all of these beautiful, beautiful cards. I have to tell you, I really love the images. They stamp beautifully. But one thing that I am super excited about is the specialty paper. Can you see that it's foil on one side and it is so, so very pretty. It's just so pretty. So we're gonna be using that. This, by the way, is on page 64 and 65 in our holiday mini catalog. If you're new, and you don't have the catalogs, you guys get in touch with me and I'll send them to you. I'm happy to do that. I had a couple of people last week that I got out their catalogs before I left. So I'm hoping they arrived while I was gone. Um, of course, I do um, always appreciate your orders when you ask me for a catalog because that helps pay for the postage. Sometimes the postage, um, depending on whether you need an annual catalog or not, is expensive, right? I have to send those priority with the whole pack. Okay, here comes the rest of my deals. Um, I'm gonna set that right over there. Here are our dies. Ugh, they're so, so, so pretty. I just love all of these. This little thing has some little stitching or dots on it, which is pretty cool. I guess we call that stitching, whether it's little dashes or little dots. Look at all these pretty, pretty dies. There are nine different dies in here. And I am going to be using Calypso Coral ink. I also have some petal pink ribbon. This ribbon is so soft. It is soft polyester and it's really soft, like really soft, easy to use. Thank you, Sherry, for sharing it with another friend. I so appreciate that. Sharing my um, video links really helps me grow my business, you guys. So I so appreciate the shares. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Oh, here comes some gorgeous colors. Now, this card that I'm making is a crisscross fold card, and I have made these for you before. But I made this for a swap, and I thought it's just too pretty for me not to share it with you. Even though I've showed you how to make this fold, I thought you would really like this too. So you're gonna get a double whammy on the crisscross fold card. We are going to be using Calypso Coral. This is four and a quarter by 11. And Becky wants to know if discount shoppers are eligible for my drawings. Absolutely. Yes, I have team members that win all the time prizes. So yes, Becky, that's a really good question. Thank you for asking. Um, next, I'm just reading comments here. By the way, if I miss one of your comments, please feel free to ask it again because sometimes they roll up really fast if I have a lot of people making comments at once, which is great, but sometimes I miss them and I don't mean to ignore you. Um, we are going to take this four and a quarter by 11 Calypso Coral and we are going to score that at five and a half, okay? And now we are going to take and I am going to take this piece and we're going to cut it from that score line down to this corner. So I'm going to put it in here so that my score line is in the channel and then I'm going to move my, um, oh hang on, my necklace is stuck on my paper trimmer and it's choking me. <laughs> I don't want anybody to get hurt, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> Oh, so Becky said she's never seen me do this card. Well, I think I have done it, but you'll have to go find the other one because it was really pretty too and I don't even remember what it was. Okay, so we're gonna take from the score line down to the corner, boom, 
cut it off. Chop that baby right off, okay? So we're just gonna set that aside for now. I have a envelope. This is one of our basic white medium size envelopes. I also have a piece of this particular pattern of the Splendid Day Designer Series paper. And this is four by five and a quarter and also a white layer that is the same size. And then I've got a, just this, this is just a scrap of the designer paper, same stuff. This is three quarters of an inch wide, inches, three quarters of an inch wide. I'm having a lot of problems with proper English tonight. Well, I was with a bunch of Aussies. So no, they use good English too. Um, Donna Gray came over from Australia and that was really fun because I got to meet her. I'm, I'm, I do business with her online, but I've never met her in person. So well, maybe, no, I don't think I have. So that was really cool. Um, there were a lot of people from other countries. We had the Germans there and the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, it was really fun at the, at the backstage. All right. So I'm going to take this piece. And I am going to cut this at a diagonal. Now, the nice thing about this paper is that the images on it are random. It's not like we have flowers that are going this way, that I have to be careful how I cut this. So doing a crisscross card using random patterns, patterns is the best way. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut from one corner to the other corner. So I've got both of those points in my channel. Boom, just like that. So that's what we've done, okay? I think, I think I'm done with this. Let me get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? Uh, I am drinking my strawberry lemonade. I wanna hear what delicious drinks you are drinking. When we were in New Orleans, we actually, um, you have, they tell you, you have to have a hurricane, right? Um, that's a drink. But they warn you that you should only drink two maximum hurricanes. Well, you know, Dina Barb and I were kind of rebels and <laughs> we went a little over the limit of two, but we were fine and it was fun and <laughs> they were really, really good. Not going to lie. We may have had one at the airport today <laughs> and that was delightful too. Okay, so I have folded and burnished that um, score line. Now I'm going to bring in my designer paper here and this is going to go like this. So I just turn it over and make it fit. Okay. So I'm ready to glue this piece on water, strawberry, wine, slushy. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Okay. Here comes Patty's got water. <laughs> Judy says those drinks are potent. Yes, indeed, Judy, they are. We did not do anything stupid nor act like fools that we remember. So it was A-OK. -okay. We behaved ourselves pretty well. Here, let me get that. I got some glue on there. I need to get that off of there. Let me get a baby wipe so I can clean up my mess. What's in a hurricane drink? Lots of alcohol, Betty. <laughs> I have no idea. I really don't know. We didn't ask a lot of questions. We tasted it and went, oh my gosh, this is delightful. Okay, and I do have to tell you guys that we were in bed pretty much very early every night <laughs> because we were just doing marathons of TV. We tend to get a lot of work done when we're together, but we also get a lot of sleep. So yeah, it's a priority that we're there to unwind and relax and laugh and visit and just enjoy each other's company. But we did get a lot of work done. Um, by the way, that reminds me, we have a retreat coming. We're going to be doing a retreat in October and you will get all kinds of information as soon as we have that all typed up and put together. So I don't want to jump the gun on it, but okay, ready for this? This is going to go back on here. Huh? Did you see that? How, isn't that just the coolest thing? Who said, Becky said that she did, she, she hadn't seen this. I think it was Becky. So you cut that, you take this, you put the paper, this is one piece, right? You cut it, put it on here, bam, crisscross card. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get this picked up if possible. <laughs> Sometimes that's the hardest part. I'm gonna just kind of put my finger right here, 
and I'm gonna add some glue. My glue has missed me, I can tell. <laughs> and, oh, I think we can go all the way over to here. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. I'm just putting it on that little triangle end there. And now we're going to just leave the card closed and we are going to line this up with the edge of our card, okay? So you want it to just be nice and square and you wanna make sure that you don't have any glue. So you wanna put the glue on the front, not on the back of this piece. Look at that, isn't that just really, really cool? <gasps> I know, it's so easy. Okay, this is the inside layer and this is our four by five and a quarter inch layer and all I'm gonna do here now, do we want to do this side as our strip on here or this side? I think I like the orange one. So you can do whatever side you want on yours. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white down here. There we go. And we're going to trim that off. Somebody said Red Lobster has hurricanes. There you go, people. You don't even have to go to New Orleans. Um, our hotel was really cool because we got a view of the Mississippi River. So we got to see, we were on the 15th floor, so we got to see all the barges and ships, the cruise liners came in, um, like the cruise ships, the big container ships, the ferries, the, the things, what are those things that push the big containers through there? Um, tugboats or I don't know what they are. Anyways, um, it was a very nice, beautiful um, view. Will you have written instructions on the crisscross card? Yeah, Denise, absolutely. And in those PDF files, those project sheets that I'm free downloads, um, there's also a link back to the blog post with the video in it. So that makes it really easy. Okay, now we have our crisscross card done. Wasn't that super simple and very cool? I know, <laughs> it was. Um, we are going to grab our Calypso Coral and I'm gonna bring in my envelope. So I wanted to stamp on my envelope. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put on my envelope. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to stamp this because I think this is really pretty. Look how pretty that is. But I didn't know how it would look if I used it for the two-step stamping. So I'm going to test it out here on my scrap. Now, you guys, this is a piercing mat. I use this as my stamping um, surface. And it's just wrapped with printer weight paper and it's taped on with scotch tape. So that's what this is. It's called the Pierce Mat. You can find it in my online store. My online store is on my blog. Now I want to see what this looks like. Like, I don't, I, yeah. Oh, look how cool that is. It's like this does not line up. So I want you to be aware of that and not freak out over it. But what I do is I'm kind of looking at this big leaf right here. I'm just going to throw it right on there. And it's just kind of quirky right? So I like this and I'm going to go with that. That's going to make me happy. Then I've got some scraps here. So I'm going to take, um, let's see, I think, let me see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take my Calypso Coral scrap and I'm going to stamp my sending hugs on here. Okay. And don't you love, love, love that font? Oh, yeah. Hi, Lynn. Don't worry about being late. You can go back and watch the beginning if you want to. Um, now I'm going to take this die and I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. The other thing I'm going to do is I have a petal pink scrap and also a scrap of our designer paper. So I'm going to take this particular die and put it right on the foil paper. I'm going to take this die and put it on the petal pink and I'm going to grab this die and put it on the petal pink and then we're going to die cut all of those and of course I've already done that so let me get this out of the way I just 
just stuck my arm in my stamp. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> okay. So here's all of our little elements. And this is what we're going to decorate our card with. Aren't they pretty? Like they're very, they're very delicate and kind of quirky looking. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this, put this baby together. I'm going to grab some dimensionals out of my basket of goodness. That's what I call this. I've got my mini dimensionals and then let's see if I have some big ones in here. Yeah, of course I don't. Oh, I know. I sent them home with one of my... Hang on. One of my helpers. I have lots of black. Here we go. All right. Here we go. I got dimensionals. Don't worry. Sorry, I should have looked at that before I got started tonight. But whatever, right? You guys will roll with it. You're always so good to me. Okay, I'll put that someplace. All right, now we have all our dimensionals. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to take these little elements and I'm going to stick them behind this that I'm kind of using not only for my sentiment but also as a little pot. Isn't that pretty? And then look how that turned out. Here, let me put it on white. Isn't that just pretty? And that's just the designer paper. I just die cut it right out of there. Okay, so I'm going to put these on the back of here. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? I think mini glue dots are going to do very well by me for this. I was trying to think, do I want to use glue? Do I want to... Uh... What do I want to use? So I'm going to use some mini glue dots. I'm going to put them right on the front of my leaf layers. Leaves, sprigs, whatever you want to call these. Hang on, my fingernail's stuck in it. Do this one. And then one more. Just like that. Okay. Now, I am going to... Come on, you little beast. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on like that. I want this one in here, just like that. And then this one, oh, yep, that looks good. Okay, so that's what I did. Now, I'm going to put the dimensionals on the back. And I'll put one here. And here, it'll cover up those mini glue dots so they don't cause me any issues. Brilliant, right? You're like, wow, Kelly. <laughs> okay. Here comes this. This is going to go on right here. And I'm kind of putting it down at the bottom of where it crosses over there with the white. And then we're going to take some of this ribbon. And I'm just going to tie it in a, in a little knot. Are you guys still with me? Nobody's sleeping, right? <laughs> There's no sleeping tonight. So you better get in here and make my bed. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm such a brat. Okay. Here comes. Whoops. I want my lid. Mini glue dot again. I just thought this ribbon would look really cute over here. I don't want it to cover up my sending hugs. Oh, look how cute that is, right? Here's my envelope. There went my scissors. Here is our crisscross card. What do you guys think? Ah! Yeah, isn't that just so pretty? And so easy, right? So easy, it's so easy. Not kidding. Now, I have another one that I made out of Fresh Freesia and the other designer series paper. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much for all the love. I so appreciate it. So, 
Yeah, Mr. Steve said he made some breakfast. Mr. Steve, the chef, made some breakfast dish, but that's all there is in the refrigerator, so. <laughs> Connie can't stop laughing about Steve. I know, right? Well, isn't it just like a man to say, oh, look what I did, but then it's like, we really didn't do that much because if you don't put it all together, it's going to create a lot of work for me. Not that making a bed is a lot of work, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, look at how pretty that is, right? So two different cards, same cards, different colors using this beautiful splendid day. And you could do this crisscross card with every one of these color combinations, right? I know so fun. Okay. Now I'm going to leave this out here because the next card we're making also uses this bundle. Okay. So let me close this up and we don't use this again. I'm going to bring this back in here. Um, you guys are going to want to hang around for my mail too. When I get done making the next card, I'm going to share my mail with you. And oh, it's so, I have some, just you guys send me the prettiest stuff. And I have some presents to share with you too. Okay, next card. Thank you guys so much. Cindy says, simple yet elegant. I know. You guys, you can't go wrong with this paper. Like it's so beautiful. Like you can't make anything ugly with it. <laughs> It just can't, it's not even possible. We're going to be using the Time Worn. I think that's what this Time Worn type. Oh, let me look it up. Duck on it. Why is it that I have such a hard time remembering? Hang on, let me find this. Time Worn type 3D embossing folder. Okay, this is just kind of shabby chic looking. Then we've got the Stylish Shapes dies. Jana says she loves the cards. She's going to make some Christmas cards. It's easy. You could totally make Christmas cards, Janice, right? All right. I've got the Let's Celebrate here. It's from the Splendid Thoughts. We're still using this stamp set and the matching dies. But we're also bringing in the Stylish Shape dies. Now, you get... I don't know, there's a gazillion of them in here. I have a mess going on here because I always put anything I don't use back in here. There are 15 different dies in this pack. You get squares, circles, and banners. So if you don't have this yet, that stitching is so charming. Highly recommend it. Okay, then Highland Heather Ink. And I think I'm gonna have some questions for you guys on these because I'm gonna let you kind of help me along here. I wasn't sure which colors I wanted to do. Um, so you're going to help me with this. First of all, first thing we're going to do here is we are going to decorate that envelope flap with the gorgeous Fresh Freesia foil paper. And my designer series paper measures two and a half by six. And I know it's really hard to use this gorgeous paper on an envelope, but I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. Like when whoever I send this to, when they open up their mailbox and they see this paper, they're probably just going to faint. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they are going to go, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Can't wait to see what's inside, right? Yes. The presentation. For us as stampers, it's all about the presentation. Don't forget to do something to your envelopes if you can. Like if you're in a hurry, I get it, right? But... When you're making your cards, decorate up your envelopes right away and you'll always have them ready to roll. Okay, next up. Um, is Mary Stroman on here tonight, Mary? I think you're on here tonight because I'm actually making your card in a different color. I couldn't resist. <laughs> so this is from one of my team members, Mary. She makes beautiful cards, as do all my team members. Hi, Marsha. If you're just coming in here, you won a prize tonight, Marsha Culbert. Yeah. I'll be sending that out to you. Um, so this is Fresh Freesia, and it is eight and a half by five and a half. We're just gonna fold it in half. Then I've got, hang on, I got a mess here is what I have. I have two pieces of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter. I've got a scrap of white and a scrap of Fresh Freesia. 
And so what we're gonna do is we're going to take one of these white layers and we're gonna run it through the Time Worn, is that what it's called? <laughs> I know, right? Time word type. You guys, I'm serious about that. I tell Steve he makes fun of me because I can't remember anything. I'm like, stop making fun of my disability. And then we laugh because, you know, it's just it's something stupid that happens to me. Um, we're going to run this through our embossing machine. And when we do that, we are going to end up with this. Isn't that pretty? Now, you really can't read a lot going on on this, but you can see when your letters are upside down. So you want to kind of pay attention. Like this says, we know, this says never, and I can see if it was upside down. So you want to pay attention to that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp with um, Highland Heather ink, the Let's Celebrate. So this is, this is just going to be a little sentiment. Boop. Let's celebrate. We're going to use this. I call this my chubby little banner. And just use whatever banner fits the best, right? So once you do that, hang on a second while I get all my bits and pieces, we're going to end up with that. Okay. Uh, let me put this away so I don't lose it. Then we have a piece of window sheet. Um, this is, I think, three by three, but you just want your window sheet to be bigger than the die you're going to use to cut it. This is three by three. So we've got that. And then I took a bunch of the designer series paper. You're going to need six strips, I think. We'll, we'll see what's happening here. But six strips of designer series paper. So I took this pretty fresh freesia colored designer series paper. And we are going to alternate. So we're gonna go back and forth. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna start right up here. So I'm going to add, whoops, add a little glue. And we're gonna put this right up here at the top. Okay. And you wanna get these fairly straight. And you know what, if you, if you wanted to, you could use your, hang on, I'm gonna get my grid paper out. This is a really good idea. Okay, we could use our grid paper to help get this straight. Okay, that's a really super good idea. Do you guys have this little grid paper? It is fantastic. It's called small grid paper. You can go right in my online store and you will find it when you type in small grid paper in the search engine in my online store. But it's fantastic for using it for something like this. So you can make sure that you're gonna get all your pieces on here straight if you're really anal about it. Otherwise you can just eyeball it, right? No, Cause it's okay. But I do want mine to be straight. Here comes another one. And another one. You're just gonna alternate these back and forth, back and forth. Oops, this one needs to be on this side. You guys are gonna love this. It's so pretty and this is really quite easy. So you could actually do a long strip of this window sheet and do long strips and then do whatever you want with them. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm done here because we're doing a floating strip technique. Ah, Yeah, that was my technique for my Technique Club members last month was a floating strip technique and um, I'll, Remind me and I'll show it to you in just a second when we're done with this card. Because we made it a couple of weeks ago and it was really fun. This is going to be very elegant. So my team did a card swap last month. We do a swap every month. So if you want to be like part of something bigger, this is the way to do it. We did a card swap last month and it was a technique swap. And this the card that I'm sharing with you tonight is just a different color, but it's part of the technique swap from my team. And so that's just one of the other benefits that goes on behind the scenes when you join my team, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, it doesn't matter. You can join all this stuff that I have available to my team. Okay, now look how cool that is and see how you can see through it. Yeah, woo, 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 woo. 
<laughs> okay, I'll stop messing with you. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna die cut it. And so I'm gonna bring in my machine so you can see. There's no, there's nothing, you know, nothing um, hard about this. You just pick out a shape. You could leave it just like this, okay? And that's what I did with my Technique Club last month is I left it just like this in a, in a square. But Mary made her card with a two and a half inch die. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I have to, there's my other plate to find all my bits and pieces. You want to, you could probably like put some tape on it too so it doesn't move. Cause like, I don't want that to get goofed up. Cause then I would wreck the whole thing, right? If my die moved. Yeah, you've been there. We all have. It's very frustrating when that happens. Okay. Get this out of the way. Okay, you guys ready for this, all this magic? Ugh. Let me get this out of here. Hang on. Oh, that left a funny took some of my color off. Be careful on the foil with the temporary tape, but ready? Oh, look at <laughs> I let your glue dry. Okay, hang on. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Put it right back in place, but ready, ready, ready? Oh, look at that, you guys. There we go. Run it through twice. Yeah, because it doesn't want to cut on some of these. There we go. Huh. Well, isn't that something? Okay. Run it through twice, you guys. I don't I didn't know this would do this. This is the first time I've actually die cut. I'm just gonna cut on the it's easy to trim around this. Make sure you run it through twice. The um, window sheets that we have, they're called window sheets. They are very high quality. And they're a little um, little thick for one run through. And I didn't realize with that foil paper on there that it would do that. But anyways, here's your leftover. You know, sometimes things don't go right, right? <laughs> but this, look how pretty this is. Look at how pretty that is. Now, this is where your decisions come in. I need your help. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my inside white layer and I am going to add a half inch strip right down the side because that's what Mary did on her card and it's really pretty. So I decided I would do that on my card too. And then, there we go. That's gonna go on the inside of our beautiful, gorgeous floating strip technique card. Okay, I see comments coming in now. <laughs> Cheryl says she wasn't laughing. <laughs> it's okay, Cheryl. I know sometimes people accidentally hit the mad face and they're like, oh my gosh, I hit the mad face. I know you guys aren't mad at me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here goes this. And where's the other? Here's, here's where you come in. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do which color. I'm not sure which color I wanted to do. Did you guys see, oh, here it is. I'm like, where did that go? We have that. So I was gonna put this on here. This is really crooked. Look at how crooked that is. Let me force it back into place. Not okay, not like that at all. Okay. I didn't know if I wanted to do white and then bring in our pretty layer here, okay? Um, and then do the fresh freesia with the fresh freesia, because this is how this card is gonna go, you guys. Do I wanna do fresh freesia here? Do I wanna bring in a darker Highland Heather, which is the color of the ink that we use? Do I want to scrap that and bring in Highland Heather? Do you think Highland Heather matches the Fresh Freesia? And then we could either bring this in with this, 
or we could bring in white with that. What do you guys think? I need to hear from you. So Courtney, are you saying the Highland Heather layer on the Fresh Freesia? Is that what you want? So I'm asking about this layer right now. Should it be white or Highland Heather? That's what I need to know. <laughs> Jennifer says, this is so pretty. Mm. Maria says white background. Debbie says Highland Heather. Ingrid says so pretty. Michelle says white in Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia on white. White background with the Highland Heather sprig. Like the white best. Highland Heather. White. <laughs> white. <laughs> I know it's hard, isn't it? So I think what I'm going to do is my original idea was the white one. So I think I'm going to go with that. But you guys saw how you can mess around with all the colors, right? You can do whatever you want with this. And it's going to be pretty no matter what you do. So I'm going to come in here with the white. Now, the cool thing about this technique is you're going to grab your dimensionals and we're going to put those on the circle, but you want to make sure that you have them behind your strips of designer paper. And I'm really sad that that temporary tape I used pulled some of the foil. So be careful about that. I didn't know it would do that. It pulled some of the foil off, off of my um, layer there. Yeah, what's that? That's a little hitchhiker. So I might fix that before I take some pictures. I might not. You guys understand how things go sometimes. They just, if you want perfect, buy a Hallmark. We're in this. <laughs> We're in this to have fun and we take in all the imperfections. Okay, so I'm going to put this right on here, just like this. Isn't that so pretty? And it's like floating. Yeah, because you have that... Um, window sheet in there. Now I'm going to come in. I think I'm going to come in with this. What do you guys think? Should I do this or should I do this? We should probably put this on first. <laughs> there we go. And then come in with this. I think I'm going this way, but you could do anything you wanted here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the bigger spots here my leafy thing. Put that right down here. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. So are your, is your head swimming with all kinds of ideas and different shapes of dyes you could do this with? You could do this with a Christmas tree. How cool would that be? Yeah, it would be very cool. Here comes our Let's Celebrate. And I'll show you Mary's card, so hang in there because you're going to want to see that beauty. And I have some of these iridescent, hang on, there's a fuzz on it, some iridescent rhinestones. Again, my favorite new embellishment. You know that I love them. I'm going to put a whole bunch on here because, like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> right? Look at that. <gasps> Absolutely be Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's gonna make me crazy. But isn't that pretty? The rhinestones, Maria says, the rhinestones make it. Yeah, they really do. They're super pretty. Now, here's Mary's card. <gasps> isn't this pretty? So she used the orange paper that we used on our other card. Okay, that's what she used. The Calypso Coral. Hang on, I'm going to grab that other card. She used that on her floating strips layer. So everything else is the same. She also used the Champagne Rhinestones with this. So this is Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. What do you guys think? I know, right? Isn't it so pretty? And then here's the other cards. We did, oh, we did such a good job tonight with these, right? <laughs> I love them. They're so pretty. So yeah, this was a swap card that I made and I, I never got a chance to show it to you guys. So I thought it would be perfect to pair it with Mary's design and make the different colors. Yay! 
absolutely so fun. Thank you guys so much. Now, don't forget, I have um, PDF free downloads for both of these. Now, I'm going to show you, I'll put both cards like I put both of these in the PDF, but the, the instructions are going to go for this one because this is the one I made for you. I'll put both pictures of this in there, but the PDF is going to be for this one because that's the one that I made for you tonight. But I'll still share that other one in the PDF so you, you see the color, you know, the different colors. Um, I have mail to share with you. I don't want you to let me forget that. So I'll do that in just a second here. But reminder, I always appreciate your orders. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you haven't yet. Share this video, whether you're watching now on Facebook Live, whether you're watching later on Facebook, please share. And also when you're watching on YouTube later, please um, share my video. That really, really helps me to grow my business. And um, it's just one of the really easy things you can do to give me a hand. This is my blog. That's where you're going to find the free downloads. So make sure you head over there and check that out. Um, these will be loaded up later tonight. It is August 28th, 2022. I will load the um, pictures and everything on my blog later tonight after YouTube finishes checking all the things for my video. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business, keeps my bills paid, all the fun stuff. So are you ready for mail? ready for mail. Okay. Well, hang on to your hats. Because last week when I was on, I forgot to do my mail. So I have some really cool things to share with you because I forgot last week. So here we go. <gasps> Look at this beautiful card. This is from Terry Mullinex. And isn't that just gorgeous? And she is thanking me for a card kit and also um, the surprise for attending her team meeting. So I did a challenge for my team and everybody who met that challenge got a card kit in the mail from me. And then when they attend team meetings, um, I do them all online. So no matter where you live, you can attend if you join my team. They're on um, Zoom and Facebook Live. But when you attend the meeting, you get entered into a drawing for door prizes and Terry wanted to door prize drawing and got the kit for meeting the challenge. So Terry, thank you so much for participating. I love that you're part of my team and your card is beautiful. Next up. Um, oh, this is really cool. Now this is from Alora, Alora Weaver. And she said she loved these free papers. So this was part of our um, last catalog kickoff. This is what Laura did. Watch this. Ready? She has a little note here that says pull down. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at that. Oh my good grief. Oh, I believe this is one of the fun fold layouts that we shared. I, I think Dina did this one in one of the live classes during our catalog kickoff. And so each time there's a new catalog, Dina, Barb, and I get together and we do a catalog kickoff and it is a hoot and you learn so many cool things, like so many. So, Alora, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that card. So cool. And this was Alora's swap for the catalog kickoff. So while we do a catalog kickoff, we also host a swap in there. And this was the card that everybody would have gotten, um, well, there's, let's just say this was one of the swap cards. Let's just say that. Now, this is from uh, Debbie Bach. And look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. This is that rainbow paper, I think. Uh, I can't pick it up, but maybe. Um, yeah, she got the black dimensionals. You can never have too many dimensionals. And um, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, next up. Uh, that was a shower thank you card. Oh, this came from my upline, Ann Hebner, and I just thought this was a really cool way to um, give a gift. So she got me, she stepped over last week, I got to chat with her, she got me a Brighton neck lanyard. And what this is, is these neck lanyards, they have all these cards on them. We always get these when we go on a cruise 
or a Stampin' Up! event, trip, whatever. So this is from Brighton and it just, well, this hole isn't big enough, but it would usually have a big enough hole that it fits in there and then you wear this around your neck because it allows you, it's like a backstage pass to get into all the events. So this was very cool. These are wonderful. I love these. And then she made this amazing card and I wanted to share this with you and I left the money in there. Look at this. This is a little envelope with cash in it. I thought that was a really neat way to um, keep the cash in there. And she gave me cash because she knew I was going to backstage and I could use some cash for my travel. So I thought, how sweet was that? All right, next up, we have um, Patricia Perrin sent me this beautiful card. Oh, and Patricia, um, my card um, opener ripped it like cut your ribbon. I'm very sorry, but this is a beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. I love this floral. And she says, thank me. Thank you me for all I do. She got some pretty sparkle gems. You are so very welcome. I'm going to use a mini glue dot to put that back together. But thank you so much, Patricia. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Next up, oh, I have a bunch of goodies here from Sandra Moren. And I think this card came with it. Uh, and close, you will find the charming Sandra. Yep, this is from Sandra. Look at her pretty card she sent me. Okay. And then, ah, look at how fun are these. Owl earrings. Oh my gosh, how cute are those? So my um, my branding has owls in it. So Sandra found these and sent them. Oh, and I got these from Nancy too. Nancy, I have them right here. These are really pretty too. So the earrings, yay. Love all the earrings. I love these little owls. And then Sandra sent me a bunch of goodies. And one of the things I gave away um, tonight was those dies. But it says, um, mail to Kelly, beautiful world, Christmas season. Look at this. So she sent these to me so that I could give them away to you. So I just thank you so much, Sandra. That is so thoughtful. And everybody here will appreciate having an opportunity to get their hands on those. Next up, this is really cute. Um, this is from Lisa D'Alessandro. I love this. Look at, we got a pretty, look at how cute this is. The little um, hippos. I love this card layout. It's just simple, but look how fun that is, right? So this is from Lisa. These are free with your $50 order. And she's also thanking me for the card kit. She also said she was thinking of me when she was shopping. So I have to show you these, these items. So hang on. So sweet. So look at this one. Stand tall and be sweet. Tan, stand tall, be sweet, and wear a crown. Isn't that cute? This is going to look great in my office, Lisa. And then this one was super cute. Look at this. She goes, give it to Steve or Molly. You decide. This is a magnet. And it says, I love you more than candy corn. <laughs> and it's almost candy corn season. While I'm very sad to see summer go, bring on the candy corn, right? So I got both of those. How fun. Okay. Um... I think you guys, I think that's it. Let me come back. I'm gonna come back. Hang on, if I if I accidentally click you off. Whoops. Oh, you see my mess back there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. It's hot in here. It's really warm. All right, you guys, so I will get the free downloads done. I have to type up the other one and take photos of everything. It's gonna be kind of a long night for me. <laughs> know if I'm what time is it 8 26 we'll see we'll see what happens tonight we'll see how long it takes look my hair always does this that goofy um we'll see how long it takes to get the checks done on my video but thank you guys so much for joining me tonight it was a wonderful thing to come home to to be able to share my New Orleans trip and all the fun and excitement and details with you guys and um yeah, we had a great time. I'm glad that I got to share that with you right away because, you know, I don't remember a lot of things. So, 
It's a, it's a thing. It's my disability. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for spending the evening with me. Go make my bed, Jean says. I'm going to go look and see if he made the bed yet because I did not hear him come up here. He better not be laying on that bed without sheets on it. That's a no-no. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you guys know. Watch my Facebook for a post. Steve did not make the bed. That's all I'm going to say. Or he did. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful week. I will uh, see you again next Sunday. Is it Labor Day or Memorial Day weekend? Or what is happening? What's happening next weekend? Let's check it out. Um, right now it is August 28th. I think it is. I think it's a holiday weekend next weekend. Yeah, because that's... A, oh, it is. I don't know if I'll be home. I think I will. We'll see. Okay? I'll let you know if I'm not. But we are going to go to South Park. And, uh, I don't know. He'll do some work and I'll bring my computer. I got a new computer. I still haven't opened it. Like, it's still in the box. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Have a good week. Bye-bye. <laughs>